my well-planned travel changed completely in the middle of Siberia. From there I started hitchhiking and camping. I hitchhiked Chusky truck into Mongolia and went into the wild. After that I continued to the Anak Ranch, where I discovered how dependent I still was of the home front. I had a choice. Continue my travel to Kazakhstan or travel the whole 10,000 km back home. This is Rhino Price between secureness and freedom. An enormous woman opens the big wooden door. She stares at me with no expression on her face. Then she turns to my driver, the man who just gave me a hitchhike of 1100 kilometers. She talks loud to him and walks into the house. I look at my driver. Asking me my best Russian and arm movements if it's maybe better to leave. He looks at me. An expression. So I went inside. There was a big table full of food. I eat it till I had pain in my stomach. Then they brought me to the banya. The banya is the Russian sauna. The next morning I walked to the kitchen. Twenty eyes stared me right in the face. In the backyard the family had three cows. Uya milked. They prepared a big meal for me again. Then they started to pack my bags with all different kinds of foods till the bags were very full. I said it is enough but they started to pack my jacket and when I left, I couldn't even walk anymore. It is the 24th of September. After a fast border crossing, I hitchhiked a thousand kilometers and put my tent between the road and the big river. The next morning, the Michi picked me up and gave me the hitchhike to Kansk. And you know the rest of the story. Oya and Dimitri brought me to a good place to continue my travel. Confused and with warm feelings, they left me. 7000 kilometers to go. From here, I will try to hitchhike to Novosibirsk in the middle of Russia. Five o'clock in the morning, and my tent is frozen. I'm not sure how much it freezes. I think about minus eight, but it is freaking.